Hello and welcome back to my channel. Special welcome to you if you are new. Thanks for joining me for today's video. I'm coming to you from my living room today. I've got a ton of stuff that I have collected for my newborn that I just want to go through and show you guys. It's going to be super exciting, super great. In this haul, I've got some essentials. I've got some of the bigger items that we purchased. And then I've got a few fun things as well, some mom essentials. These are just what we've picked up on the way and of course we still have a lot more things to get that i would consider essential that are not on this list but this is just for fun so without further ado let's get into it okay so i have four categories for this video the first category is newborn essentials and i'm gonna split it into two parts so I'm going to start with some of the bigger items that I would consider newborn essential. So let's just start with our car seat. We decided to go with the Graco Snug Ride Snug Walk 35. That's kind of a mouthful, but it sounds super snuggly. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like. We decided to go with it because it just had really, really good reviews and um, it's a little bit newer, but it's not one of those trendy ones that you know I just bought because an influencer said oh you should get this one <laughs> so that's just what we went with and um, we don't have the stroller for this one though I've decided that we're not going to have a, a car seat stroller hookup situation um, so instead the stroller that we got is the Diono, Diono Quantum. I don't know, we got it off Facebook Marketplace and let me tell you guys, if you're thinking of getting some baby essentials from Facebook, from Facebook Marketplace, totally do it. This stroller is like valued at like over $600, almost $700 uh, US and we got it for I think 125 and it's in like super good condition. Gave it a wipe down, sanitized it and everything and we love the way it runs. I love that it has a bassinet feature as well as being able to convert to a proper stroller and it's super easy to move around, has really good storage. I really, really am looking forward to using this for our walks in the summer and it's nice because it's something that we can use right from the time that he's a newborn. So yeah, basic things, car seat, stroller, um, we did get a bassinet along with our crib and we just got like a basic one off Amazon. My goal really is to have him in his own room sooner than later. It's nice and cool in his room and he'll be born in the summer and that'll just probably hopefully be the best place for him to sleep but we'll see. Regardless, I got this bassinet off Amazon and it's been really good. It's just like very basic, no fancy features. Um, it does have like a little rocking setting, but I probably won't use that too much. What I really liked about it was the height for our bed. And I originally was looking at the Halo swivel bassinet because I like the idea that it wasn't too hard to get baby out. Like I wouldn't have to be reaching over the side as much. It was nice and flexible, but the thing is the base of the Halo swivel won't work with our bed frame. So the one that we got, honestly, just what works for us, had good reviews, but I tried it out for myself and I liked it. So I will possibly link that if I can still find the Amazon link if you're interested. It's super budget friendly too, so yeah. So yeah, those are the bigger like newborn essentials items that we got. Let's move on to some of the smaller stuff. The first thing I have is these pacifiers. I was debating using pacifiers for a long time. I heard mixed things and then decided eventually, no, I would really like to have this as an option if it works for him. I got these. These are the Tommy Tippy Ultra Light Soft Silicone Pacifier. And these are specifically a size for a newborn. I heard a lot of good reviews about these and it comes in a pack of two. So we'll just try this out. I hope it works, but if it doesn't, I'm open to trying different brands and figuring out if there's anything that he will like. Um, but it's just super nice to be able to offer him a comfort that is more convenient for me or isn't just, you know, 
him getting fed all the time if he's not hungry. So super looking forward to trying these out. And then I also got one bottle. I really can't purchase too much ahead of time because I don't know what he's gonna like. I don't know what's gonna work. I don't wanna get a ton of things that, you know, he just ends up really hating and then we spent a ton of money on it and it's just not worth it. So this is just an anti-colic advent bottle, has good reviews, but it was like 10 bucks, might as well just see if this one works. If it doesn't right away, we can just go to a store close by. Um, there's lots of options. You can just pick out a different one, see what works for him. Now I do plan on breastfeeding and bottle feeding. If that is an option that he allows, um, then I'm going to store breast milk in the freezer and then heat it up, warm it up, and give it to him in this bottle. So this will be great for on the go. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It's whatever he likes. He might not even take a bottle, so, but I hope he does take a bottle. The next newborn essential that we've started to collect for him is blankets. So this one obviously is a little thick for the summertime when he'll be born, but it'll be great for our really cold winters here in Canada. I just thrifted this actually. It's in super good condition, like pretty much brand new condition. I gave it a wash and it's still super soft fleece blanket. So cute, really good size. Um, but for the summertime, I would like to get some more cottony like muslin blankets something that i can swaddle him in that i can cover the uh, stroller in you know just he can play around on and that it won't make him too hot you know um but we haven't got all of those yet it's on our list it's on our registry too so i'm looking into that and of course you just have to have good blankets for your baby so there's that the next item I picked up were some cotton muslin baby towels. This is the brand. I just got it off Amazon. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. I can open the box. Oh gosh, I opened this last time. Okay. The material is super soft, but also super thick. So I can tell that it's gonna be really absorbent. So it came in a pack of two and there were a few colors to choose from. I picked this little sea foam sage green color super cute. I got this at the time before we knew that we were having a boy. So I figured gender neutral is best. And of course I can use it in the future, regardless of what we have. Along with that, I also got some cotton muslin uh, washcloths, baby washcloths, burp cloths, um, whatever you want to call them. These are also from Amazon and it came in a pack of 10 for, uh, how much did I get this for? I don't know how much it was, but it was pretty affordable and the reviews were really good. These also are super soft and they're a pretty good size. I'd say for a burp cloth, it might be a little small, um, but for like a washcloth, for him in the bath, for cleaning up uh, spills, spit up, stuff like that. Uh, these are gonna be super nice and gentle on his skin. These are all pretty gender neutral. There is a pink, but that's not really a big deal. <laughs> it's just a cloth and I'll be able to use them hopefully with our next babies as well. They did also have these in all white, I believe, or all pink or all blue. So depending on your taste, if you're looking for some good baby washcloths, um, they had a good variety, I'd say. Okay, next on the list are sleepers, baby sleepers. These are perfect little zip onesies, just the one piece that is super versatile. Um, good for sleep, good for play, <laughs> just landing around. I like to get ones that are organic cotton if possible. Um, this one is, and it says size newborn. I still think it's kind of big. I don't know how big our baby's gonna be. So far he's measuring a little on the smaller side and I'm not surprised. But these are super good because they have little footies attached and then they also come with mittens so they don't scratch their face. This is super good. This is a nice lightweight material for the summer also. So I've got a couple of these. I bought some in the zero to three month size as well. And of course, these also have a double zipper and the mittens. These are from Old Navy. I just try to get these wherever I can. I found it really hard to find newborn ones, but then the zero to three month, as you can see, they're kind of big. <laughs> I don't know, this might be more 
of a end of the summer into fall transitional jammy but it's good to stock up on these so i've got a few of these and they're just really good now our baby is going to be born in the summertime and summers where i live get very hot very very like oh beautiful beautiful sunshine but just really hot and i really don't want him to overheat that's kind of my biggest fear so anyways an essential for us is going to be these little t-shirt onesies or um, even ones without the little sleeves work as well little rompers and stuff that are not gonna make him too hot overheat or anything um, this one is a size newborn it's so cute I love it I have three of these little ones and a bunch more so cute can't wait to dress him up in these along with that I also bought some shorts these are little newborn shorts they're so cute I think it was a pack of five from H&M so I've got a few different colors but these are just the cutest tiniest little short they stretch in the waistband they're a really light cotton material too so they're not heavy they're not gonna make his little legs sweat or anything like that and yeah that was just a good staple basic for his closet it's just gonna be so cute the next thing that's important for my baby's wardrobe is hats. Like I mentioned already, he is gonna be born in the summer, so I didn't go too crazy on hats. I just picked up a few. I don't go too crazy on the cuteness factor with clothes, but it's the little details that make such a difference. So just got a couple of little hats like this. And then of course I needed to get him a sun hat. I've actually got two of these. The other one is in the wash and it's perfect so perfect for summer days when we're going to be out for a bit going for walks um going to the lake and it's a really good size for him this is also why i could never take the bucket hat trend seriously like all i see when someone wears a bucket hat is a little kid at the beach playing outside in the sand and he's wearing a bucket hat. Of course, that's like the only other time I saw them. So when adults started wearing them, it just it just makes me crack up. I might just be the only one who thinks of this, but these little bucket hats look so adorable on little kids. And they're super functional. Lastly, I did get some mittens. I wasn't sure how much I was gonna be dressing him in sleepers because it is a full body a uh, piece of clothing. Um, the thing with mittens is that if they stay on, it can keep him from scratching his face and I can still have him in a short sleeve onesie and not get too hot. So these are just some cute little hand protector, face protector, uh, little mittens, I guess. So his nails, if they are long, um, he can't scratch himself, but we'll see how long these stay on for. Okay, so those were all of my little baby essentials. Um, there's obviously, yeah, like I said, things that are essential that are not in there. Baby lotions, first aid items, other stuff that we still have to pick up, and things that are on the registry, etc. Uh, now I'm just going to be talking about some essentials for myself mom essentials these are things that might vary depending on the person this is just what i would consider like wow i don't know what i'd do if i didn't have this but uh first one that we got was a bouncer a baby bouncer now this is not a splurge for everyone but i grew up with siblings and they used the bouncer and it was just so handy when i'm in the kitchen or I'm getting laundry done, or even if I get that spare minute to take a shower, if I can put him in a comfy little bouncer uh, with a toy or something to entertain himself, then I don't have to worry as much. It's a good comfy seat, and it's more than me just putting him on the floor. I know there's a lot of baby bouncers out there. There's a few that are at the top of the charts right now in popularity. I just decided to do my own research and some factors I considered when looking at a bouncer was um, portability, how sturdy is it? Is it gonna be all right for him in the summer as well? How well will he grow into it? How long can we use it for? I can't remember the name of the one that we bought, 
but I will put it on the screen and I can put the link down below if it's still available in Canada. I know you can also get it on amazon.com if you're in the States. When we were putting it together, we could tell that it was really sturdy. The base is wood, it's not plastic or metal, so that adds just extra durability. We really like that factor. The lining inside this one is mesh, so he's not gonna overheat and it's just super, super cute. Again, this is what I would consider for myself, more of a mom essential. It's gonna serve me most, more than it's gonna serve my baby in ways. But of course, if he likes it, he'll still be comfy in it, then we both get a bonus from it. The next mom essential that I bought was a baby carrier. Um, I got the Ergo Baby Oh, what is it called? Okay, it's the Ergo Baby Embrace Newborn Carrier. So this one is specifically meant for newborns. I think the starting weight is seven pounds. But yeah, this one is super soft. Um, I love how comfy it is when I wear it. I didn't want something that was too structured and uncomfortable for either of us. And at the same time, I am not 100% comfortable with the idea of a wrap yet. So this is that perfect in between. The fabric is really lightweight, but it's also very durable. So far, I, without a baby, or <laughs> I mean, I put a couple of weights in it to sort of try it out. Uh, so far I like it, it's really comfy. This is an essential, I think, for every mom. Find one that you really, really like, because if you can get the most wear out of it, it'll just be so handy. Um, I just plan on wearing him for pretty much whatever we're doing, even if we're out for a walk or if I'm trying to get a few things done by the house, he can nap on me. It'll just be super nice to have this around and it's super functional. So my next essential is a really good diaper bag. There are so many diaper bags out there. So many, so many options to choose from. Some range from like Oh, $20 at my local Walmart or like up to $200 uh, for like a genuine leather bag and those ones are nice too but I went in the middle and I got this one from Amazon again I kind of went just more based on my own research and what I was looking for specifically um, I love the color and that it is a leather material I know this is faux leather uh, but also, if I had a real leather bag, I know that I would just be so scared to take it out of the house. You know, they're really nice. I would not want anything to happen to it. Thankfully, with this one, I don't worry too much about that. But it's really cute. I still get the look of it anyways. I did want it to be a backpack just in case I'm carrying baby on the front. I can have the backpack on the back. I can also take it in the car, uh, put it onto the stroller or underneath the stroller. Um, it has everything, like seriously everything that I could need in this. I'll show you guys. So the front has a small little pocket here. And it just opens up like that. You can put your essentials in there, like phone, you know, keys. I don't know if I keep that on the front of the backpack. But nice little pocket in the front. Um, what I love too about this, if you can kind of see, is that the inside is like a full fully wipeable material. Um, I don't know if it's waterproof, but it's very, very easy to clean. Second pocket opens up pretty big. And we've got a little mesh pocket here. Um, same wipeable material that is throughout the whole bag. What I really liked about this one is that it has these little bottle pockets and they're actually insulated. Um, I don't know if you can tell from here, but they're really sturdy as well. Like I can trust that if I put a bottle in here, it's not going to fall out. It's not going to move around and leak on everything. And then it is super nice that it'll keep it warm or cold. Again, I just love when something is both functional and also my style, also very cute. Um, just get the best of both worlds in that way. So I don't like to compensate much for either. So opening up the large pocket, 
just a flat cover like that, uh, little buttons, and there's double zippers everywhere. This comes down, um, and then you've got the whole big main pocket there. So I really can't tell if this is doing a good job showing the backpack. I might have to do some different clips, but we'll see. So it's got this little zipper mesh pocket in the front again. And then on the inside, we've got, there's four little pockets and of course, the big main component of the pocket. And then it has this back pocket as well. And it comes with this little portable changing pad. This was just so cool. I didn't even think of this as a necessity until I bought this bag. I thought, okay, yeah, if I am in a public restroom, I know they have the change tables there, but to be able to put down my own like pad that I know is clean, that is from our house, it's just super reassuring. So yeah, it just opens up like this. Um, good size and wipeable, really good material. So handy. And then it has two pockets on the side here. This one is really great for holding a water bottle or whatever needs to be in there. It's nice and stretchy. And then there's also a pocket on the side that you could put wipes in. I think that, yeah, it's supposed to come out here. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it for that, but it's a cool feature regardless. And then the back also has a really good sturdy handle. And then these two hooks, it comes with little clasps that you can put onto the stroller, like the handle of the stroller, I guess, so it can hang off there if you need. And it has a big pocket in the back, which is perfect for things like my iPad or books or whatever. Again, it's super sturdy. I'm fixing the straps, so we'll just, we'll just ignore that for now. But yeah, I love this diaper bag. So excited to use it when baby is here. Lastly, for my mom essentials, I picked up a breast milk collector. This is the Medela one. I don't know how I feel about this, okay? <laughs> I'm still very new to the whole idea of breastfeeding, obviously. Um, I love it, you know, I love the thought of it now. I think it took me a while to get used to that whole aspect of being a mom and being pregnant. Um, but I, regardless, <laughs> decided to pick up this before I picked up a pump because I don't know how much my milk supply is going to be. I don't know. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's supposed to suction on to your boob and collect any milk that you are, I guess. If baby is breastfeeding on one side, you put this on the other side and it'll collect any like extra milk. Uh, that drips. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lots of moms recommended me getting a pump or a catcher and my doctor did as well. So we'll just, we'll see how it goes again. Uh, there's a first time for everything. And then to go along with it, I got these breast milk storage bags. Um, you can see the little, like, it'll tell you how much is in it. And then you can put the date and the time so that it can be stored in the freezer if you have any extra. The next category that I have for this haul is nursery and organization items. This one's important to me because I love being super organized. So I've got a few things that if you're building a nursery, you might want to consider getting them as well. So the first thing I have is these little cubicle organizer boxes from Amazon. It was a set of five for like 20, 25 bucks. Uh, it was a pretty good deal in my opinion. Uh, it's not too fancy, you know, it's, it's just a nursery and I don't think it's necessary to go too crazy um, as long as I have something to keep me a little bit organized, a little bit sane. So I've got five of these boxes. They're perfect size for um, his change table. So I'm gonna set them up on there and we can organize things like diapers in here, um, organize things like the towels and the claws, anything that we're not using. Um, it's just a good basic organizational item and it's gonna help me out a lot. Okay, so I also went and got a little laundry basket that is specifically for his room. I have my own laundry basket. We have an extra laundry basket for my husband's stuff or 
just for the stuff that needs to get put away that's clean. And I found it very helpful to have a couple laundry baskets laying around. So him having his own that we can just keep in the nursery too is gonna to be super helpful. And then all of his stuff specifically, that'll be the only stuff that is in this laundry basket and I'll know what needs to be washed. It's not complicated, it's just handy. It'll be handy. So that'll go in the nursery. Again, for organization, functionality, and also just the aesthetic, um, I bought this big, big woven basket. <laughs> it's huge. It's got the stuff that I've talked about uh, in it for this video. Uh, but the whole idea is to store some of his toys in there. Um, he doesn't have a ton of toys right now, but for the little things, uh, this will just be nice because it looks good and it serves a purpose. In his nursery it matches the theme uh, this was just from home sense they have a ton there and yeah it's really good really good find lastly for the nursery change table setup I bought this little nightlight uh, this is really good for those nighttime feeds nighttime diaper changes I don't know how much we'll use it when he's actually in the nursery because we've got a nice dimmable lamp in there but at least for the time being that we have our setup in our bedroom with the bassinet and the change table, this will just be super helpful for the middle of the night. I actually just got this at the dollar store. I didn't know they would carry something like this, but um, it goes pretty bright actually. Like if I turn it on, it has three settings and um, in the dark, it actually works really well without it being too overwhelming. I know you can get ones like this off Amazon too, probably for more than the $4 that I spent on it. But regardless, it's just good to have a little night light for the middle of the night. So that's that. And my last and final category is going to be just play things and some fun little extra things that I just wanted to show you because I'm excited about it. So first off, I have this lovely tummy time play mat. This is a super soft, super comfy, just big, look at how big this is. I don't know if it'll fit into the camera, but it's a round little play mat. It's very cushy, very, very comfy, uh, good material. It's washable, which is really good. I, I picked this up at HomeSense and it's just going to be so nice for him to lounge on, for us to do tummy time on, to read stories on, just for a little extra cushion than just putting him on the floor. We also picked him up this little wooden play gym. It's originally from Ikea, but it was another great Facebook marketplace find, and it'll be good for over top of the mat as well. Love how minimal it is. It's just got the right amount of things that when he's little, he would need to entertain himself. And I just think it's super cute and fun for him. It's such an exciting and rewarding thing to start collecting things for him. And I know this is just the beginning. There's gonna be so much more baby stuff. I'm still trying to keep it pretty minimal if I can, but everything that we've got is a really good value. And we've just been super blessed. And this little baby is so blessed. If you made it to the end of this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I make videos about motherhood, lifestyle, faith, and things like that, and I post them every Friday. So if you wanna get notified, if you wanna stay in the loop, make sure that you also have your notifications turned on and that you leave a like on this video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram as well. I post baby updates on there as well as other things going on in my life. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.